Hello, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Ah, nice big sigh, exhale. Oh my goodness. So I'm recording the Sunday Morning Coffee in beautiful Connecticut where the colors of the leaves are changing. The greenery and the foliage is gorgeous. I've been to a few little trails and from what I've seen thus far, it's quite beautiful, actually. And I'm staying at a gorgeous little inn, um, and I'm rather enjoying myself. It's been, it's been um, ups and downs emotionally. I definitely had the intention for a solo or spiritual type of retreat with me and my soul, working on knowing myself better, expressing myself more fully, and that comes with a lot of inner work that digs up a lot of stuff and a lot of things are mirroring back to me, being reflected back to me and connected to like dreams and desires and what I want. And that can feel really, really difficult, especially when you feel just so far from that, you know? So like, it's such a long way or I don't know how that's gonna possibly be kind of a thing. So that's where I'm at, ooh, so uplifting, but <laughs> actually <laughs> I do wanna talk to you about a serious topic though. I want to have a conversation with you today about regret. Regret. <sighs> no regrets, no regrets. That has been something that was on my mind when I was planning this little trip. And I had, it's kind of interesting. I, so I had three travel, different travel plans potentially for this time. And so therefore I literally have like three different plane tickets home on the same day. So I'm coming home on a Saturday and I have three different return plane tickets from three different locations. Two of them are in New England and one of them is in another place, another state. <clears throat> so, or it's in Florida, I'll just tell you that because by the time this is up, I'm gonna be out of Florida, so. Florida, <laughs> okay, I know it's sunny, I love it. And so I have those three different plane tickets going home on the same day. So it depends, where am I gonna be on Saturday? I have no idea, we'll see. So, but my, my, my thought was, I don't wanna have any regrets. So when I committed to doing this trip, it was all up and down, like I wasn't sure because of the, the epidemic or the um, pandemic, the virus and stuff, and all the numbers changing and the kids ran, uh, every once in a while our kids like, seems like every other week get this notification, you were in close contact, you must stay home or you must blah, blah, blah. Well, we're vaccinated, but still we haven't had boosters. So, you know, it's a whole thing. And so it seemed like, I, I'm like, is this really gonna happen this trip? I'm not sure and all this kind of stuff. There was a lot of uncertainty around it. And also some other things, external things happening that, um, could also impact it and from a family personal perspective so kind of up in the air but my kind of in the back of my mind or actually not even in the back of my mind kind of on my planning notes was kind of this no regrets don't have regrets don't regret and so that's how i feel but what that means i don't know right i'm not 100 percent sure what that means what does that mean so let's have a conversation about no regrets what does that mean so I'm going to tell you kind of from my perspective the last few days what I've been journaling about and doing readings for myself about <clears throat> and having conversation about and is for me the no regrets means feel everything. That's another kind of a layering of this for me is to feel everything. Don't stuff things. Don't hold back. Don't wait because as we've learned the last year and a half, two years, life is really precious and it's short. Timing is not, time is not guaranteed. We can't just wait for the perfect time. We can't just delay our bliss because if we do, we're gonna miss out potentially on some really wonderful, beautiful connections and opportunities that could really make our life so much better, right? And I believe that. But up until now, <clears throat> as an empath, you know that, right? It's hard to feel. Feeling isn't a fun thing. You know, everybody, it's like bliss and joy. Yeah, that's great happiness. Everybody wants to feel happiness, but you know you can't feel that all the time because there's this thing called balance that allows you to have a variety, a whole buffet of emotions because we need that. It's like an artist just painting with one color all the time. You still have different shades of the same color, maybe. You could get a little creative with that. Different shades of happiness different shades of bliss, different shades of peace, but 
it's nice to have some added zest and pizzazz. And so there's other emotions that come in that provide different colors to the palette that gives a contrast and a depth to the experience, to the, the view, right, to the vision. And so I think emotions are rather like that. And so I told myself to feel everything. So when something would come up and it was hard or I was triggered the past few days, I just let my emotions flow. I've cried a lot. Like I, all of a sudden my eyes are just, whoa, like just before I know it, there's just tears gushing out. And I do feel myself holding back. Like I feel my body tense up and my heart and my throat and my face, like my eyes, like just trying to suck it in and hold it back, hold back the tears, hold back the tears. And it's like, why? For what purpose? Like, there's nobody to watch me cry. And if there is, it's, you know, it would be just a friend and that would be fine because close friends, it's fine to cry around your friends and people you trust, right? And so, and or even strangers, I could totally see myself sitting in the airport crying. That's probably what's going to happen because I just feel emotional, right? It's like my heart's being squeezed out and my emotions are being released, which might be because of the rains here also because the water element has been present. There's been some storms the last few days. So, which I don't mind actually usually, but the no regrets and the feel everything together, ooh, that's like a saucy combination, you know? So don't regret the feelings. Don't regret having the feelings, which means don't judge them with your brain, and don't regret expressing them, which means release clearing. So releasing judgment, releasing, having clearing, allowing emotions to flow freely. That's what freedom is about. Flowing emotions without judging. Release. So that then the emo- then your heart can be ready for the emotions that you produce internally that are blissful, that are peaceful, that are calm and happy. And that sounds wonderful. That sounds so, so beautiful to me. And that's what I want. I want that. I want to be in my fullest expression of myself, allowing myself to not get so pulled into other people's dramas or energies. And it's super easy to do that as an empath, to feel other people's energies and just naturally jump in and process it for them or pull it into you and try to process it. But, and as a psychic and an empath, that's really a tricky thing. It happens all the time. And it happens when I'm not in my center. And so when I have the opportunity to have experiences like this by myself, I'm with myself. I have quiet time. I have time to listen internally and to reflect on my own soul's meditations. No regrets to me means don't hold back. If this is a once in a lifetime, if I'm never back in the same place at the same time, looking at the beautiful colors, I'm gonna soak in the gorgeous colors. If this is a once in a lifetime experience, I want to appreciate the beautiful fireplace and the huge gorgeous bed with the white fluffy pillows and sheets and the huge soaking tub, which, cause I've really spoiled myself this trip. I got a beautiful room and I wanna appreciate someone making breakfast for me every day because that's what happens here. And nice people, like have conversations with people and meet people. And that's what I've done a little bit here and there. You know, I have some interesting stories. I had a great weird story about, I have a great weird story about a lift that I took into town. <laughs> cause I'm a little bit outside of town. I can't walk really cause the roads are windy. And I don't know if you've ever been to Connecticut, but there's like no shoulders here. Okay, I'm about 50 minutes from the airport. I think I'm west. I'm a little bit south and west of the airport about 50 minutes or so, an hour maybe. And it's like, no shoulders, people, no shoulders. So not a good idea to walk. I could, it's about a mile and a half. It's not that, really not that far at all, but you can't. So I had to do a lift. And the experience I had was with someone who was literally crazy, like had this conversation with me about how he was homeless two weeks before and how he just got off his psychiatric meds. (laughs) I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding, you guys. I'm not kidding. I actually pulled out my phone, started recording the conversation just because I had to tell my friend that I was going to be meeting for lunch. I had to prove that this was legit, that I wasn't making up this extravagantly awesome story. But look, I met this person who was also down on his luck and I gave him a nice, you know, cash tip and stuff because that's better, I think, to do when you're doing Uber or Lyft. And so I did because I thought, hey, you know, good luck to you. You know, I hope you stay healthy and stay positive and focused and 
and take care of yourself, you know, and that's what I said, and I got out of the stinky car, and I left, so off you go, but anyway, so (laughs) being present, in order to have no regrets, you have to be present, and then you have to be willing to receive life as it unfolds, like, I could have been so angry and ticked off by that lift experience and yet I was like hey this is an opportunity I can listen to this person ramble on about their life and maybe that's going to help them heal or feel better and why not why not I'm right there and I didn't take any of it on I just kind of put an energy bubble around me and let it kind of bounce right off just bounce bounce back off and let him feel like he was heard and he was and then I gave him a great tip and said here have lunch and left And I felt good about that. I was fine with it. I mean, it's a good story. I mean, do I want to have that same person again? No. But (laughs) I was present, wasn't I? Yeah. And it didn't really bother me because I was present for the moment and allowing the unfolding, right? So no regrets. I think has to do for me with feeling my feelings, just letting myself feel everything, the hard stuff, right? And the good stuff. We notice the hard stuff more. We don't notice the good stuff as much. But if we're present, then we can have experiences like this weird, literally crazy former homeless uh, Lyft driver who gave me a great story to tell, but who I could have been totally angry about and frustrated with in that energy field, or just said, hey, this is a good story. This is interesting. interesting. Interesting turn of events, interesting experience, right? And just be present. And I was. And I looked for the good when I was present, right? So when you're present, you can look for the beauty. When you're present, you can appreciate the moment and not worry about the future and not stress about the past and not worry about other people. Just be with yourself and your soul. And that's where the enlightenment occurs. That's where the inspiration happens. That's where the insight comes through. That's where the power is. That's what knowing yourself is. That's what it looks like to show up for yourself, to be present Okay, to be present, to let yourself feel. And in that, I believe in with those two things, that's when we don't have regret. Or at least we minimize the number of regrets that we have. I don't know if it's possible to never have regrets. I don't think so. Especially if you consider regrets as like mistakes that you made or opportunities that you missed out on. Of course you do. Of course we all do. We, the truth is we probably never really know how many chances we had that we didn't take because we just didn't see them. But we didn't see those chances or opportunities because we weren't present for them. We were so worried about other things that we couldn't allow ourselves to be physically present and enjoy the moment and be present for the life be present for the feelings and emotions that are good in the moment and be grateful for that. Instead, we waste it. We just throw it away. We just let it go as though we're not good enough for it or we don't deserve it or we haven't earned it or somebody else is going to be mad because I have more joy than they do and if I feel good and they don't, then they feel even worse. And, but that's their thing. That's their mirror, not ours, not mine. That's tough in your relationship, you know? with other people, with kids, with partners, with uh, family. I mean, it's, it's tough, you know? I understand that. I know that realistically it's not easy to not have regrets, but isn't that a good goal to have, though? A good reminder, no regrets, no regrets. To ask yourself no regrets, like when you make a decision about something or when you say, no, I don't want to participate in something, when really it might be a great opportunity for you. Oh, I could have just stayed here and not went into town. Not had that Uber drive to get me in town. But when I went to town, I had a great afternoon. It was an awesome day. I could have missed that because I could have just stayed in my hotel room. Had to take that interesting Uber ride in order, or Lyft ride in order to get there. But no regrets. It was worth it, right? I think anything that's truly beautiful, as life is unfolding in your presence truly worth it truly worth it yes and we do deserve the good feelings and emotions just as much as we deal with the clearing and the release and the old ones and try to hold everything in and try to 
deal with the uncomfortableness of processing emotions by crying or yelling or feeling sick in our stomachs, whatever we're holding, we're holding it in. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Get on to the edge, right? Find that sweet spot in between and be present. Be present. Then I think you will limit the amount of regrets you might have at the end of your lifetime. I'm certainly trying (sighs) to be present, to feel, and to have no regrets. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Hey, if you're looking for me on social media, check me out at Bridget Inspired on Instagram, Bridget Inspired on Facebook, and I'm also on YouTube, not just at Above Life Channel, where I do weekly channeling sessions on Mondays. Sundays are Sunday Morning Coffee audio podcast, and You can also go to Fairy Grasshopper, that's Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube, and check out all my um, psychic vlogs and intuitive talk topics and card reading videos as well. Thanks for being here. I hope I've inspired your spirit today, filled you with some hope, and encouraged you to live your life. It's your life after all. No regrets, or very few. So live it. Just live it.